fiberglass cloth. It's made from really fine um, strands of glass that are woven together. After it's woven, it's um, fired to burn off all the impurities that you know from the weaving process. But then it's coated with this white stuff, and the white stuff is like it helps the epoxy to bond onto the glass. So when we even put our epoxy resin on here, this is going to go transparent. So you know it's you know same as the window, so it goes back to where it was. We're using six ounce on the hull, and we're using four ounce on the top of the deck. And the reason for that is the thinner the glass is, the closer it is to looking like it's just been varnished. Uh, you know, uh, but on the bottom of the boat, we want you know, a little more strength and durability, and so we have a heavier glass on the bottom. And we're also going to put the heavy glass inside, so we got a really strong shell under us, but not too much weight out. Um, the epoxy that we're going to use, it's a, it's a plastic, and it comes in two parts, uh, resin and hardener. And the ratio that it's mixed is three parts of the resin, to one part of the hardener. It's a very potent um, chemical, uh, particularly with the hardener. Uh, the resin not too bad, but the hardener is very caustic. If you are exposed to it, like if you get on your skin a whole lot, um, the first thing you're going to get is itchy eyes, runny nose, kind of like an allergy. And if you go past that, it can end up doing damage to your liver. So the thing is, you want to always wear gloves um, and don't get it on your skin. Um, uh, you, you, if you do get it on your skin, wash really well with soap and water. So the size of a batch that we're going to use, I'm going to do a five-shot batch. And the idea is pot life in here is 10 minutes maximum. After that, it starts to get thicker. You'll uh, be able to brush it still, but it's not going to soak in, so it's going to look lighter than the areas where you had the fresh resin, plus you're not going to get as good of a bond. So you'll notice where the staple holes are. Uh, they're going to go dry looking first, and it's because the cloth is acting like a wick to feed the resin into those holes. Uh, you'll also see some places where the glue didn't uh, hold the planks, it'll soak right in, glue that all together. This is probably one of the tr trickiest part of the whole process in that our, your, our um, objective here is to take off all of the resin that we don't need. This is the color or the texture that we're looking for. It's almost looks dull rather than shiny. Now if we squeeze too hard with this squeegee, it squeezes the juice out of the cloth and then it's going to go back white again. Now, another very important point here is that you want to have the same lapse time between when it was applied and when you s scrape it off. So we began to apply up in the middle. So this resin went on uh, um, some time before it went on the ends. So if I was to go down to the end there where it hasn't been on very long and s scrape it off until it looks nice, the wood can still absorb the epoxy and it will pull the epoxy out of the cloth 
and then the cloth goes bright. So you need about half an hour between when it was applied and when you scrape it off. So what we're doing with this step is to um, scrape off all the excess that didn't pack into the weave of the cloth. Um, if we were to leave it on, uh, there's always going to be a little bit of foamy resin left. But you notice how coarse this is. If we would just brush over that, it introduces air into the little craters between the weave. So it ends up as little white dots. So what we're going to do is put this coat on with this um, squeegee and it will pack it down to the bottom and squeeze out any little air bubbles. And then we'll scrape it off evenly and then we're going to um, do the third coat immediately after that. Um, put it on with a brush really thick. We're going to put out as much as we can without it all sliding off onto the floor. And that will build up over top and it'll hide the glass. You won't see the cloth anymore.